There's two games I'm gonna keep because I want to give those to my brother. Yeah, which one's harder? This was in my brother's basement for yeah, years. So that, that's just a parts gun. I was gonna clean it and put it in a frame. And that's the new. It that's still clicks. That's the yeah. That's what I'm saying. It'll it, work. It might still yeah. work. Just cleaned up. I thought it was gonna be cool to put in a shadow yeah. box with like my Excite Bike games. Uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, you do that on sex with that Excite Bike. You had every single version I've seen. You kept the stuff organized. I'll tell you that much. Oh, man. <laughs> this stuff all originally came from. Connecticut. So that's where you're from? Yeah. I'm from Charleston. There's two games I'm going to keep because I want to give those to my brother. Okay, which ones are they? They were my brother's favorite. Oh. The RC Pro Am. And then this Mario. But there is another Mario in here. Yeah. Oh, the track home Mario? Yeah, I'm going to give him. This, this is my youngest brother's favorite game, and then this is my, that ain't gonna hurt my middle brother. brother's favorite game. RC Pro, and that's the racing top down view, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A good I, console. I, I played what my parents bought me. Uh huh. From the pictures, everything looked good. Like, I've seen pictures, I'm talking just. Like, man, don't treat stuff like that. You know, like, at least your pictures so don't show justice. You no, that's true. Tell. That's why I don't. This thing's full, man. That's got a cool <laughs> little case, though. I kind of like that. This thing was like $80 when I bought it. That's a trip. You want to look at all these games? No, nah, they, like, I'm these. just in talking to you. I can already tell that I'm not worried about well, it's you. It's been all packed away that's why i'm not worried about it away individually and trust me that's why i'm not worried about it there are some cracks that's what they we got cracks we get old first time i ever seen a game gear i was a kid at the hospital and i was waiting on somebody and another kid had one and i was like why has it got color on its screen like that this, I remember, this actually has been honest since so this was new huh i'm pretty sure if not, it was like within a month. What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Rain Bean, and welcome to another episode of Quick Flips, the show that I show you guys just how easy it is to take a simple pickup or two, turn it around, and immediately put games in your collection, put some money in your pocket. Hell, if you just want to put money in your pocket, then this is the show for you. But how did I get this Quick Flip action going right here? Well, this took me like 45 minutes round, round trip to pick up, came home. I had to test the uh, some PlayStation, some NES consoles. Um, after that, sent Weevil a picture of what I got. Next thing you know, I got $477 in my account that day. And once I get this package up, guess what? Since it's over $100, he's going to pay shipping. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, what did he actually get for $477? It must be about all of it. Guys, you are wrong. It doesn't take much to equal out this money. I have made so much off this lot already. It is incredible. Now, I will say the only thing not pictured in this lot are three Game Gear games. I believe it was Castle of Illusion, Double Dragon, and Road Rash, which I sold to a member of the Discord server. Um, so those are, the only, those are the only things that are going to be missing from this lot. And there is one item in particular that was in this lot that I didn't know was in this lot. That's like, wow, that's great. That's an extra $100 bill. Who's going to get mad at that? So guys, if you want to get into the Weevil action, his buy list is in the description. Prices he's willing to pay. Um, he updates it fairly frequently. When you're ready to actually reach out to Weevil, just check my pinned comment in the YouTube section. You will see a link to my Discord. It is free to join. I'm not going to be one of those idiots that actually charge to join a Discord. It's booming. It's happening. It's very populated. And again, that's where you will meet Weevil. Just head over there, tag with the at symbol Weevil, and he will get you sorted and started. And of course, whatever he doesn't buy, the things that I end up left over, which I do end up with some quality stuff, I am now putting and advertising my new eBay store, which is not the old one everybody remembers, the three, 4,000 feedback one. I'm starting fresh, brand new, so bear with it. It is a brand new store starting forward, but don't worry, we're already top rated, all that. Uh, it'll also be in the description as well if you want to follow that. All right, so my dog is just as curious. What did we will buy to equal out $477? Again, I only paid $300 for this. I'm already in the profit. 
Well, this is what we will got. So far, he got two NES consoles, which already been tested, but I do need to clean them. Don't send your stuff in dirty, guys. He got one NES Zapper. I He, you know, asked about the other one, but as you can see, it's hidden for a reason. That is not Weevil quality. And this one on the bottom is too yellow for his liking. So I'll pair these consoles up with the power cords and a controller, which I have over here. Those are pulled out separately because of these other controllers I got. They are too yellow. So with those two NES consoles, he got two PlayStation 2 Slims, which have already been tested. Uh, he paid higher on the silver, obviously. Um, and he's going to get a, you know, the cords and controller with those as well. What games did he buy? He bought these right here. These are the only PS2 games that he bought. As you can see, there's not that many compared to what we got left over here. But he did pick out some decent select titles. And the only NES games that he bought were these right here. And of course, good stuff. Mega Man 2, 3, Donkey Kong, Clash of Tetris, and the trilogy of the, the Duck Hunt, Mario, Track Me, whatever it may be. But we got left over. He didn't want Mega Man... <laughs> The first one, which everybody knows it's a high-end game uh, for what it is, but it's something that he, it wasn't in his realm of profitability, or maybe it's something that he's not uh, directly competitive for, so he left that for me, as well as we got all these other NES games. And guys, guess what? That's it! That's all he got for 477 damn dollars! He didn't get none of the Dreamcast, none of the Game Gear stuff. Uh, we still got an NES left over. Oh, damn it, I am a fool, because he did. I got uh, bags of uh all the cords and went on there was two extra rf switches yeah right here and he bought those paid me ten dollars for two hours name is name somebody name anybody in this world that got that buys rf switches more power to him if he can move them flip them bundle them i love that for him but for me he can have them all day long all right guys i want to show you these dreamcast games that i got left with uh some of them didn't have the manual which is okay but some of these i'm telling you even you know for some of some of these sports they sell for a decent penny uh, let's see, we've got uh, MSR, Metropolis uh, Street Racer, NBA uh, NBA Hoops, and I'm telling you, this one, mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto 2. Now, all these have the back, or the, the back, well, I, I picked the one that didn't, <laughs> web browser, but uh, all the other ones, uh, for the most part, have the back cover. Uh, NFL 2K, and of course, with the back cover. Slave Zero, uh, Jeremy McGrath, Supercross 2000. Here's a little bit of a uh, little bit of warmth for you. Blue Stinger, excellent right there. Star Wars Episode One Jedi Power Battles. Four by four Evo. Eighteen wheeler. I mean, how do you was that? Eighteen eighteen wheeler American Pro Tour. Come on now. Sega NFL Two K Two. Now, guys, when I was going through this at his house, I don't think I got it on camera because though it was awkward the way I had to hold this dumbass phone. Can't wait till I get some spy glasses in me. I gotta find me some. Um. There was, there was something at the end of the box and i was like oh wait a second i got a glimpse of it and i did i was like you know what i'll save that excitement for when i get home and sure enough at the very bottom i guys i wish i did have it on i have to check the footage just to see look at this look at this and i know there's people out there like yeah bullshit yeah, i tell you what guys uh the only downside to this is it's empty there is no disc in here but woo for the back art and the manual with the registration in beautiful shape the last one sold for 99 bucks I'm not going to get mad when someone slips me an extra $100 bill. So that Game Gear, I pulled the case. Uh, it was trying to fall down. The Sega Game Gear case came with the Game Gear. Of course, it needs a recap, and it does cut on. But yeah, when you go get a Game Gear out in the wild, just assume it's going to need its caps. Uh, we got the, uh, the the battery accessories. which no longer work. You probably can mess with them or uh, you know renew them or something. But I, I, I'm, they're all gone in a lot. Uh, I did come with a Sega adapter, which was nice. The Sega Genesis adapter. And as far as the games... Nothing too wild here. We got Sonics. Uh, we got, yo, this is nice right here. Axe Battler. It's like a $20, $30 game. Chuck Rock, unfortunately, ain't Chuck Rock 2. And X-Men Moho World or Mojo World. Pretty decent. And, of course, they all came in their clamshell cases, which I had to take apart just so you can see them a little bit better. So I go through Weevil. He's my number one. He's going to be the one that I hit up first because he's going to be paying the most for from what I'm finding out. And then what I got left over, I'm, I'm, I'm trickling down. Guys, you want to network. You want to get to know people. Get to know your video game store owners. They always need inventory, and you would be surprised what they pay. So you want to get started, make a Facebook ad. This is all you got to do. Just make a generic list and just say, hey, I look for video games. Give a whole list. You know, I look for N64, GameCube, yada, yada. I'd go down the whole list, whatever your little brain can come up with. Because when they see it, uh, it may trickle that memory in their mind that says, oh, I got a box of that in the closet. Find you a generic photo of a bunch of retro video games and go to your Facebook groups. 
You want to look for things like yard sale groups, buy sell trade groups, join as many as you can in your area. Now here's the thing, do not post to marketplace. God almighty, so many people post to marketplace and immediately get flagged because you are not selling anything. You're not selling trade, you're not selling a actual item. What you are doing is goes into violation of them. So what you want to do instead is go to one of those Facebook groups and then you'll have an option for what are you selling. That's when you, you make a title generic. I buy old video games. Put a one, two, three price tag, and then your description is going to be, this is what I look for. You put your photo of your generic video games, and when you go to click next, it's going to give you the option to post in all those other groups that you've posted in. Do that. Wait three or four days, rinse and repeat, guys. You will be absolutely astonished at what, what comes out. Of course, you're going to get hit with BS. You're going to get hit with trolls. You're going to get hit with people who want to be rude, but that's okay. Because at the end of the day, I'm the one smiling. And again, if you want to reach out with Weevil, the buy list is in the description. And as if you look in the top pinned comment, there is a link to the Discord. Join up at Weevil. He will get you sorted out and start making some bread, guys. But anyways, that's all I got for this Quick Flips episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.